Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code. In this episode, I'll show you how to make a simple linear regression AI model using sklearn and pandas. So for this tutorial, you're going to need to install the sklearn and pandas libraries using pip. If you don't know how to do that, you can watch one of my previous videos and they'll show you how to install pandas in the process the exact same for sklearn. But for this tutorial, we'll just jump straight in since it's a relatively longer one. So we're going to start off by creating the imports. So let's say import pandas. This is assuming you've already installed it. Import pandas as pd. And then from sklearn.model selection, import train underscore test underscore split. This is a, oops, let's go to a new line here. That is one of the functions that we'll be using. Then in, in addition to that, we're going to say from sklearn dot linear underscore model import linear regression and our last import that we'll make is going to be from sklearn dot metrics and we're going to import mean squared error and r2 score these are just some of the metrics that we'll be using to look at the efficacy and the value of the model that we create. So let's start off by taking a look at the sample data that we have. Now this is pretty much just straight sample data. Um, this will be available in the description down below. But there are two columns, one for SAT, one for GPA. And the SAT is going to be the feature or the predictor for the GPA. So we're going to make a very simple linear regression model that basically looks for a linear relationship between data. And so as you can see here, as the SAT score increases generally, there it's out of order, but if you analyze it as the SAT score increases, the GPA in addition increases. And that's the relationship that we're looking for within this model. So in order to get started, we're going to need to look at the data that we're, we're going to need to load the data set really from the CSV file. So we can say file path and link to your CSV file that you have. So we're going to say SAT, SAT underscore GPA dot CSV because that's the name of our file. And then we're going to put that data that we just loaded into a data frame. So we're going to say data is equal to PD, so our pandas library, read CSV, and then file path. All right, so now our CSV data is located inside of a data frame for easy access and easy use. So now let's split this data into what's called features and the target. So remember, features are what's used for predicting, and the target is what we want to predict. So our features data frame is going to be called X. So we're going to say X is equal to data double brackets SAT. So what that's doing, it's looking for all the data within this SAT column. Now our Y, which is our target, is going to look for all the data within the GPA column. Now, once we have that, we'll split the data into training data and testing data. Now, training data is the data that's being used to generate or create the model. And then the testing data is the data that's going to be used to test whether that model works. And usually a trained test size will look anywhere from 70% to 30% to maybe 80% to 20%. So in this instance, we're going to be using 80% of our data to test or 80% of our data to train the model and then 20% of the data that we have is going to be used to test the model. So we can create two, we can create four different data frames. We're going to say X underscore train, X underscore test. So this is the data within the features column that's going to be split into training and testing. And also let's get the data from the target column that's going to be split into training and testing. So we'll say y underscore train and y underscore test is equal to train 
test split. Remember, that's that function that we imported earlier. X, Y, test underscore size is equal to 0 0.2. So we'll be using 20% of our test data of our data for testing and random state just so the data is randomized and it's not overfitting to a specific order of the data. So we'll create a random state, just throw in an integer 42. That needs to be capital. And let's create our model. So we'll say model is equal to linear regression. That just creates a blank slate model. And we're going to fit this model to the data that we have. So model dot fit x underscore train and y train. So we're fitting the feature data to the GPA data or the um, target data. Let's make a few predictions. So y underscore predictions is equal to model dot predict x underscore test. So it's using that 20% of data that we have allocated for testing. So that's x test. And it's making predictions on that data and storing those predictions within y underscore pred. Okay, so now that this model has been created, and we've made predictions, let's take a look at the efficacy of this model. So let's take a look at the mean squared error first. So MSC is equal to mean underscore squared underscore error. We're gonna look at the mean squared error of the y test to the y prediction. And then our r2 score, r2 underscore score is equal to y underscore test, y underscore pred. So we're collecting this data based on our testing data and our prediction data for both of these. Now let's print out what we've gotten. So let's print mean squared error. And that's equal to MSC. Let's also print our R squared. And that's stored in our R2 variable. Let's also print out some of the model coefficients. So let's say print intercept model dot intercept underscore. And let's print the coefficient. That's model dot coef underscore zero. All right. And now that we've made these predictions, let's just run this file. Let's see what we get. All right. And now that we've tested it, we can look at the data that we have here. So our mean squared error is 0 0.052. Our R squared is 0.469. Our intercept is 625, and our coefficient is 0 0.001. Okay, so that's well and good, but usually the point of creating a model is that you can run actual predictions. So let's try to run predictions on some example data. So let's go down here. Let's create an example SAT score. So let's say example SAT score is equal to PD dot data frame. So we're creating a new data frame. And we're just going to populate this with one value within double brackets, 1300. So let's say you get an SAT score of 1300. Let's place that the column of SAT. Now let's calculate the predicted GPA using our algorithm. So predict GPA is equal to model dot predict the example SAT score. And I'd like to print it. So let's say print predicted GPA. And 
let's see what happens. All right, so based on an SAT score of 1300, the predicted GPA was 2.5. Let's increase that to, two, to 2000. Let's see what it predicts then. At 2000, the predicted GPA is 3.5, 3.56. Let's try 1800. Three point two six for GPA of eighteen or for an SAT score of eighteen hundred. And as you can see, this linear regression model seems to have fit the data properly. So as we reach higher and higher SAT scores, our GPA increases along with it. Now the linear regression model is a very simple model type. In future videos we can go over more complex model types, um, both classification and regression models. But this is just an introduction on how to get started with AI and machine learning creation using SKLearn and Pandas. So if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. This has been Steam Code, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.